go with. Um, I just want to thank Rosalie Roman for everything she's done to make to put this together and to bring us together. And that's the idea behind Sangre Viva. We have all these different organizations that are doing similar things with um, their own specific flavor and their own specific angle that they that they're tending to. And together. Um, by bringing us together, we're just making a more powerful alliance. And, and I actually, one of the goals behind Sangre Viva is to get all these poets that are reading their work all over the city into an anthology because we're the lifeblood of our culture and our community and we're telling our stories. And that's going to keep our history alive. It's going to keep us going. Um, and teach our children who we are because, you know, the TVs and the movies and the music and the things that are going on today. They're, they're American. This is how we maintain our Puerto Ricanness in New York City. Um, this piece is called Apartment 8H, 50 Paladino. En el barrio. Mornings smelled like farina and fried eggs. Spilled over the edge of the plate one time, and Theo got to play Boy Scout with my blisters, popped them with a pin, ointmented them, and covered the boo-boo gently with a curita. Or maybe she just put some pasta on it. I remember both happening. It smelled like pit bulls in his room and green menta alcohol in hers. Thick, chalky white toothpaste that stuck to the sides of the sink and her favorite maja soap in the bathroom. It looked like sunshine dust beams and chain link fences and playgrounds and basketball and handball courts and buildings as far as the eye could see. The Empire, the Empire State Building from the sala and Taino Towers from the bedroom window. Dolls push toys and punching balloons for the cousins to hit instead of hitting each other, and translucent circle chips and colorful ink markers for bingo. It looked like Rosie house dress with pearly oyster buttons and round soft belly to hug and rest upon while sitting on the sofa after breakfast. It felt like thin sheets de la tercera and thick foam pillows, the harder the better. Curious fingers run carefully over the guayo. Cool window on warm cheek, drawing hearts on moist glass, and little fingernails dragged over the guido. Bañitos con pledge to rub the coffee table shiny, and sobitos de vix and agua florida y besitos, and achly, aching giggly tummies, and bites from abuela porque ella no quiere carne de aquí, ni de aquí, ni de aquí. It felt like unconditional love doled out by a powerful heart. It sounded like the price is right, sweeping floors with no dustpan, and two playing cards that had been swept off would do, and dirty red heart queen and dusty black spady jack and the clack clack of the door knocker, on the other side of which was always, who? And we were usually pretty happy to see them. Soft, warm, pale pink, nearly flat chancletas shuffled. It sounded like jibarito tunes about sisters and manicomios, claves and cuatros, salsa y merengues any time of the day when there was always laughter and I love you. It tasted like aceitunas out of the jar, tocinas, pastelillos, and bacalaitos, and stacks and stacks of export soda crackers dumped in sweet café con leche, chunks of welfare cheese, and pasta de guayaba, arroz con dulce, arroz con candules, arroz con pollo, arroz con orejita, y mi favorito, arroz con leche. Se quiere casar con una viudita de la capital. It tasted like forever.